Welcome to episode, this is four? Four. Episode four, four again, let's go. <laughs> of the Inside the Lines podcast. We're so excited to have another treat for you guys. Um, two outstanding women's softball players here today from our yep. Dukes team. On my right, we have Dukes record holder in batting average and hits in a single season. 2023 first team, all ACC and all tournament team, preseason player of the year watch list. Duke center fielder Deanna Jennings. Thank you for being here, yeah, Deanna. Of course. <laughs> we got on the left. We got the ACC Player of the Week, <laughs> Amina Vega, the freshman record holder for home runs in a single season, and Puerto Rican women's national team member, and the 2023 NFCA All Region Second Team. Welcome, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Yeah. So, I guess we'll start with the obvious number two in the nation. Yeah. Let's talk about it. What is? Yeah. What's the feels? How are we feeling about it? Top two, not two, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. No top, doubt. Not two. No doubt. <laughs> Oklahoma, Oklahoma's number one right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not even worried about that. No, nah, we're yeah. not worried about that. I think it's like, I just think it's a testament to like how far we've came, uh, the chemistry of the team, like how we're really playing together, how the programs before us have really just created the ladder for us to keep climbing and, you know, keep reaching the goals that we want for this program. Of course, Coach Young has been here since pretty much day uno, and uh, it's a testament to her coaching and who she brings in and the players she brings in. So I think it's pretty fun. I think it's kind of crazy just to be like, wow, like we're, we're two, and we're just having like so much fun. We're doing so well. It's just kind of like like forget the rankings like regardless it's just like thank you you giving us our props but like people are people are finally understanding who duke softball is and like what we're about for sure but you guys already knew that though for sure yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what i'm we saying like we forget that. the rankings yeah, yeah, forget the that. politics bro like <laughs> that's just newsflash you know mm -hmm. for sure it's, it's so sweet to know that like that's what people see us as like number two in the nation and it's like crazy to think about yeah yeah, yeah. so what was that let me start with what was the get back against Florida State like? How did that feel? <laughs> that was lit. That was so lit. Just because like how the series went last year and like also more so the ACC championship last year, just like we literally fell short um, by a play. So really just being able to like take it from them in their place, at their place um, for the first time in history. I don't think anyone was it they didn't take a series from them there yeah. no one's ever taken a series from them there at home so like yeah and we were so amped up so ready like we felt so prepared for it so just like i think that was like the first like real example and like just for people to know like this is duke softball and like it doesn't matter who you, you who is against us like the odds are against us like so what like like we're just gonna yeah. I'm gonna curse. Them. Yeah, there were so many times <laughs> during those games that I was like, I'll bet on us anytime. Like, yeah, we're, yeah. like we are that team. Like, For we're sure. down. I'm like, eh, whatever. We'll be fine. Like, mm -hmm. we're gonna come out on top, and it, and we always do. Like, it's it's just a testament of how yeah. good we are. Yeah, and why we're ranked too. What was the atmosphere like? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. Were they rowdy? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, Florida State, I mean, they've been, they've, I mean, since, like, the 1900-something. Like, I don't know. They've been there forever. So, it's, like, they have all these chants. They have this, like, traditional stuff. Like, they have the, they have a chant that's, like, called K-Time when you're in a one-two count. So, it's, like, it's a lot, but... It was fun. Like, of course, like we're Team Seven. Like, we're barely, we're also growing our fan base. So, just being, I mean, it was my first time um, experience a fan base like that. I feel like last year we didn't really experience anything like that. So, um, I didn't. It it kind of wasn't as like ooh hoorah like yeah. hoorah as it as I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be like oh my god, like I'm gonna like scared, not scared, but like oh like you know. But it was just fun because it was just like even when. Our fan base was like also so loud. It was so little, but they were so loud. So it was just cool to see like there's all these people for Florida State, but like we're still giving them like we handing them they they stuff. So it's like it's crazy. Yeah, yeah they like um whenever like she said when you have two strikes, they'll be like K time. Literally, K yeah. time. The whole and then, like, stadium. They, you'll just hear the entire stadium screaming it. But like one of our players, our third batter, um Claire, she mm. like had an outstanding mm. game, like. Just home run every game. Mm -hmm. like she just was going off. Yeah. So like our fans would be like Claire time. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, it was it definitely Joe. It was so yeah. it was so fun. Just like being in the dugout and just like listening to our fans like just say that when like it was true. She was gonna oh, pop off anytime. She was up yeah. to bat and like they knew that and they kept they kept pitching to her too. So mm -hmm. it was crazy to think that like we were just like 
guys. It was, yeah. it was yeah. awesome. She's she's killing it this season. She's yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. definitely definitely comes even like I think what's cool about her is that even if she's like not having a good day, like someone picks picks her up if not or like I think that's what's so special about this team too is like it could be anybody yeah. any given weekend, any given day. Like yeah. She she comes up in like important moments and like even this past weekend like it was like G Mina and Davy but like Mina had an outstanding weekend and like if you see look look the weekend before none of us had an outstanding weekend and like even before it was somebody else so it's just like it's cool that we have one through nine there's always someone being able to step up um, and it's not always just one person and I think that's what makes the difference for our team this year mm -hmm. yeah. for sure. The other thing is probably y'all, y'all defense, man. Y'all are locked yeah, down. Yeah, for sure. I saw bro, the defense is crazy, bro. <laughs> like a circus out there. No, for actually. real. It's like actually, so yeah. lit. Y'all are. If y'all didn't know, y'all are second in the country in the run. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I don't pay attention to that politics stuff. I just think we're good. Like I think that's one thing. If if nothing is going right, the defense is definitely gonna yeah. go right. You know, gotta have some some unlock, and that's the yeah. D's unlock for sure. Yeah. For sure. Speaking of defense. I saw that uh that oh, home run robbery. Yeah. That, that was yeah. crazy. I, I hope you guys show that. There's no, we can put that up. We'll put that up for sure. Right there, right there. In the air, driven deep to center. Get it! No, that was like, I think as an outfielder, like, literally before every pitch like i'm just wanting a diving ball or like a home run snag um that's really been something in my bucket list it's just literally snag a home run and it's like me like i take so much pride i think i'm one of the best outfielders out there period so it's like when i seen that ball i literally knew it was like my moment and it was just i i literally i was so like lit like i wish i could have like embraced the fans in the stands like who are out more but it was so cool bro it was, it was so fun because i I feel like even then like game like plays like that like they can be a momentum shifter so just mm -hmm. knowing that like i also like yeah like i did my job like i'm also doing it for the team and picking like my pitcher up too so. yeah yeah when i saw that i posted on story right away I'm like, yeah, oh, my yeah. God. yeah. it was so crazy i'm so glad she got that on film too yeah. I, was, I was literally when i was like i gotta watch that after the game like i gotta go I, that's the first thing i'm doing is watching that <laughs> so yeah that was tough. that's great y'all got another big game coming up unc right that's not a big I wouldn't say it's big. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, right, respectfully though, like yeah, yeah it's exactly. like rivalry. Of course, like you want to like, but it's not anything. Like they're scrappy though. Don't get me wrong. Like yeah, we can't take them. Yeah, they yeah. Can take it from like them. yeah. If they wanted, if we if we wanted to like f around and find out, like we really like they really could. You know, I mean, as you guys know, we dropped one to Louisville. Not even playing our best. Not that we just gave it to them, but like it happens for sure. But I think it's a good. Thing that we came off a really big weekend this past weekend like just to go into that and really like i think we're really starting to figure out like the key not i want like the key to success but like the key to play consistently and like how our preparation can really roll out and and the results can show like in our play for mm -hmm. sure so. I wanted to ask y'all about that because y'all are what it's like 29 and 3 or something yeah, yeah. ridiculous like that mm -hmm. like it's a lo it's a long season. You're playing a lot of games. Right. Like I, I guess talk a little bit more about how you kind of stay focused and locked in for that period of time. I feel like our uh, it's really important for such a long season to not get caught up in like your every game like results in your outcomes because if mm. you do then you're just like on a spiral to like always focusing on that. Like I think lately I've just been having so much fun out there. Like I'm just like giving it all my all and I'm just like laughing with my teammates and I'm like trying to like really have fun and just like enjoy the process and the journey less about like the out outcomes and like results of every game because yeah. like it, it's literally such a long season. One bad game is not going to do anything for me. Yeah, like and right. also one good game isn't going to do anything. So helps me from getting too high or too low because mm -hmm. it's it's so it's so tough with Playing, playing 60 games a season like it's really yeah. tough so just like understanding not to get too high and not too low and then also just like focusing on this whole journey in the process yeah. like duke softball going into like being ranked two it's like wild like this is just a process mm -hmm. a journey and yeah. we, like, we love it we're embracing mm -hmm. it i think that's why we're so good our yeah. team's just amazing that's dope. yeah i think going off that i think when you're having fun you really get like caught in the mist like you don't even realize like wow we're halfway past season and i feel like 
like i think you can just relate it like say like just like if you're going on vacation if you're having so much fun it's like dang it's going by so fast but mm -hmm. if you're really like dreading something I'm like wow i have this many games left in this and we're playing this time and practice this lift this and it's just like i think when you really like embrace it and just like really look at it like i get this opportunity like to make history like with the team and that's exactly what we're doing we're making history we're having fun we're trusting ourselves trusting each other and i think this is like the first time in program history that the team is just this collective like i think if you look at us you think we'd be playing together for years and it's just like this is like pretty much i would say maybe like the second year but it was like just a good example for last year to grow off that and like mm -hmm. We're just so molded. It's just so fun. And I and I think literally, like, having fun is, like, a big, 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 big piece in, like, the endurance and how, like, long the season may go how or how it feels more so. I mean, I could tell y'all are having fun. I, I saw the broom. Y'all uh -huh. broom out. That, that was, was crazy. crazy. Yeah, that it's was so crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah. And it's, like, also, too, Virginia Tech, um, our game was sold out, bro. Yeah. Literally yeah. sold like, out. I, I looked around because I remember last year, like, our games weren't like that. But then I think FSU, they came to us last year. And I was like, dang, this is a lot of people. This is my first time. Like, this is a lot yeah. of people. Wow. But then when I saw them this weekend, I was like, this is just as many people as it was <laughs> yeah. for that, that FSU series. Yeah. And I was like, Cri this is crazy because this is how it's going to be every weekend starting yeah, now. Right. Like, we are number two in the nation. Like, yeah. there's just no doubt that we don't have more fans, like, coming to watch Duke softball play. Yeah. Like, random people DMing me and, like, being like, hey, I saw you. You hit two home runs this game. You turned on the softball game, and this is the first game to pop up. And I'm like, I don't even know you. And you're like, <laughs> yeah. this is crazy to think like that. Yeah, yeah. The Virginia Tech series was so, it was crazy, too, because, like, their fans are, like, very much, like, a villain. So it was just, like, it was kind of, like, even, like, it was us versus Virginia Tech, but also, like, in the stands, it was kind of, like, them versus, like, each other. And, um, I think what's also like so awesome and so cool is how like we're creating our own like little tradition and things like now we have like people in the stands like doing like there's like a a chant that one of our uh, girls in our class her dad had made last year mm -hmm. and now it's like a thing where they'll literally do it like mid game and it's like it's crazy how we're also making history but it's like now the fan base and everything is starting to come like in line and like how everyone is like it's like a community like a community effort of like the program is uprising and so like we're gonna you know create these things and do it so i think it's, it's so cool it was so awesome virginia tech was like literally one for the books for sure yeah. backstory behind that broom real quick um yeah, <laughs> yeah talk yeah. about it talk about it so yeah, I got our it. head coach her dad used to coach at duke like he was like mm. one of the assistant coaches he's he comes to a lot of the games anyways mm. he's an old man and he decided after the game to stand up on the bleachers mm -hmm. and he had the broom in his hand and he was like <laughs> <laughs> just screaming like, he didn't even say anything he was just like <laughs> screaming. screaming like Ooh. and I was like no way he brought a broom. Like, a broom. no way. Then he goes, goes like, Pops, give me that broom. Pops, throw the broom. I opened the side gate after we won. I opened uh. the side gate. And I was like, Pops! Tell me and he broom. couldn't, he couldn't hear me. Yeah, because he, he was, was like screaming. twirling the broom. He was bro. screaming, holding it, standing on the bleachers. So then people were like tapping on him, like pointing at me. Uh -huh. I was like, throw me the broom. So then he threw me the broom. And then I like brought it out. And I started like sleeping. And then, like, and then like, I was like, give me a broom. Like, like, give me a broom. Like, yeah, and then Madison got it all on video, which is our video. The broom is for a sweep, by the way. Like yeah, yeah, so, yeah. okay. No, no, just in case, yeah, yeah. just yeah, in case, yeah, I was like, know, yeah, I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just in no, case you good, don't know, good. the broom we swept them. Yeah. That's gotta be beat them three now. times in a row. Oh yeah. yeah. No, yeah, actually, yeah. bring the broom yeah. out. Yeah. No, actually, we have to. Yeah. We have to. Uh, when I saw that, I was like, yo, Matthew, this is crazy. No, that was crazy. That was, crazy. <laughs> that was a lot. So, we know that FSU, you guys owed them a receipt this year. Who who next on the schedule? Or your guys scheduled you guys are really excited to play and who do you think you really need to get back at or start something with i think that's a good question because like we have we have unc we have clemson we have virginia and then we have nc state mm -hmm. um so i i mean i guess i would say like you know excited for the clemson series i mean we're going there their their crowd is crazy too um but i mean clemson's kind of on the on the down they're they're like falling off right now uh p pitching staff isn't you know so it's like i feel as if if they were on the flip side i'd i'd be really excited but like i'm also excited just to go give them a run for their money anyway um i'm actually really like i'm shooting right now to may like the acc championship like i yeah. that's what i'm like ready for because like we've you know we clinched our first place in the, like in the acc ranking um 
So I'm I'm just really excited. If, yeah. Already. So now yeah, we're, that's what I was saying. Saying. I was yeah, like, pretty, like, like pretty. I mean, it's, it, no, granted, if we drop like drop games, like we shouldn't. But it's like we're our, like now we're we're one. Um, <laughs> we should win regular season. Yeah. 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 So it's like yeah. So that's why um, I'm just so excited for ACC championship. And I think just like like I said, just like last year losing. Um, one zero to Florida State in the ACC. You just kind of like, bro, we we have it this year, and I think we'll see Virginia Tech again for sure. So, yeah. Mm. What's been the most memorable moment for both of you this season so Ooh. far? Would you count like fall? Yeah. Or just like like actual spring season? No, no, fall, fall, fall can yeah, count too. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have like two for sure. So one, um, the fall would definitely be when um i still wasn't cleared yet from my arm and we played south carolina what was your injury again real quick uh i um i got a ra a fracture on my ulna Ooh. yeah so think uh, yeah the 70 mile per hour pitch just right um it was by actually the girl she's at south carolina now she's her name's um elena vodder or whatever okay. Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we played them, and I was I was so excited for the games. We played them in fall, right? And I was just like, I know she's gonna throw. Like they they don't really have an ace, so you know, uh, she was. I think Mina was up to bat. It was like runners on. We were already like crushing this girl, and like Mina literally hits a nuke, and I don't think I ever lost my my shit more than ever before. And I was just like, just I felt like I got so much revenge that game. Like, mm -hmm. and I wasn't even playing. And even then, like our I can't remember who's. I think it was Jayla. Jayla struck her out. And like, and it was just like, oh, like, <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? So I think that was definitely one for fall. And I think. Um, for spring, I think literally just like the the Florida State series, the Virginia Tech series, honestly, all the games we faced adversity and we came out on top because never for a second did I ever we I ever doubted us. Like even when it was like oh shit, like you know we're we're in the seventh inning, you know. But it's just like all those games of adversity has been like just such a testament to our team, and I think those are definitely the most memorable. And like not even the games where were you know like the Michigan States where we're being like twenty two one or whatever the score was. Like the games where we're definitely facing adversity, and like we really had to like show people like like come on with it. I I think that's definitely my memorable. Yeah, I think for me, either oh. FSU when we were playing with them on the bases, that was mm. the best mm. moment ever. Jayla, our oh pitcher, yes, she doesn't even run, but they put her in because they messed up the whole thing. Like if she got, if they put somebody else in to run for the person who needed to be she's run burned, then she would have been right. burned, so she wouldn't have been able to go back in and pitch. Mm -hmm. So we needed her to pitch. Right. Yeah. So what they did were like Jayla, you better put a helmet on the throw and you <laughs> run. And uh. Mind you, she has not, she hasn't ran all season. She doesn't run. Yeah. Um. So she gets thrown in and she end up ends up getting the third, and then somebody gets a single. So at like it's first and third. Jayla's G buns. Third. And this person at first ends up being safe. G. And G, G ends up being safe. And then the way it works is like if the ball's in the circle, you can't get off the bases. Like that's mm -hmm. just not, it's illegal and mm -hmm. you'll be out. So before she like got in the circle, G started walking the second so that they would go after her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they go after her, Jayla came off. So now Jayla's like oh, in the middle, and yeah. mind you, we're all like, "Oh my God, Jayla, Jayla, Jayla!" Yeah. Like, we're so scared. We I was at home. I literally was at home, like, "Oh my God!" And I was like, "Go back, go back." She I goes back. Like, yeah. I was like, like I couldn't. I was like, I, was I like, couldn't. Get back, get back. And then it was just like they were, they were like the pitcher didn't know what to do. She was like, "Yeah, the, out, the and they're like, four, four, two, two. And then like they're trying to throw the ball, and the next thing you know, they like go after two, and the girl tries to tag her, and then turn four. She ends up tagging her, dropping the ball, and then Jayla scores. Jayla came out of nowhere. I didn't even know she was coming, bro. She scored, and we all were like insane. We were like screaming. She was so happy. There's a clip. Yeah, there is definitely. Yeah. The, like the infield their infield looks so like dumb they didn't know what to do they were like they were like choking they had even no like Virgi idea. bro virginia tech series we did it to them twice yeah like they also didn't know what it, and it, this process was literally like f like almost like 30 seconds like that one we were literally we were literally no we were literally playing with them we literally it was actually like so embarrassing because we executed it twice yeah. not once but twice like that's so embarrassing and a run scored both times yeah. Wow. So, wow. Yeah, yeah, the second, I think the second most memorable was this Virginia Tech series. Um, it was like three to two or two to four, and they had runners on um, third. They had a runner on third, and it was a tie. They ended up tying it. So it was like oh, four, yeah. four. Right. And there was a runner on third, and we had one out. 
And I was like, if they score, like we're we're screwed. Like we're we're mm. probably like we're like we're like we might not get back up. Yeah. Like we might not get it. So then I was like, well, like they win this game, if they score whatever, and I was like, Well, here we go. And then G was like Bro, they get they get a single, but we end up keeping her from scoring anyways. And we're like, I'm like, bro, it's okay. <laughs> I, was like, bro, I was like, bro, it's okay, it's okay. And I was like, listen, I think we're about to get a double play. I feel it. I really feel it. I was like, we're gonna get a double play, and then when we get back in that dugout, we're gonna win. Like, there's just no way we lose. Like, we're gonna win. Mm. So then, sure enough, a pop up to left field. Claire comes up and ends her at four, and she gets her out double play. And I looked at G. I'm like you and then we get back in the dugout and we score like two runs yeah it was it actually so won. pathetic why the girl ran honestly like it was such a like she was kind of quick but it's like why like if you know our outfield don't like yeah. like don't don't yeah. run especially when shy like yeah. especially when claire like it, like all literally everybody that was out there i think like besides Scotty, like throws like 70 plus so it's just oh, like what, what are you doing literally when the balls hit the davy i was like oh yeah babe you're you're so done <laughs> yeah I'm toasted for sure <laughs> so i guess for this section we'll we'll say to the viewers or we'll let them know we actually had we actually already shot this episode <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> like i don't know how else to say it like we we went through this um we had some technical difficulties yeah, we had some other difficulties other difficulties yeah. Yeah. yeah and so unfortunately we lost the footage um from last time but diana and amina were so kind to come back so real and, so real. So real. <laughs> and do another episode with us but you know throughout the pod we might mention something that we already talked about we'll try to clear it up but we're uh they're gonna be answering some some similar questions but yeah. we'll see but important we'll go from questions. there very important questions we want them to get to know you so we'll you know or for y'all yeah. to know you know, I got it. it yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyways, <laughs> anyways um yeah so cd so who are some of y'all favorite players growing up and who did you really model your game after um, f for me, definitely uh, AJ Andrews. She was uh, very versatile. Um, she was a slapper. She dropped buns. She made phenomenal plays in the outfield. Um, and she also played for Scrapyard Dogs, which is like where a lot of my games, um, like tournaments in travel ball, were played. Um, is that in Houston or? PR? Yeah, it was in it was in Houston, but like the where she, like the tournaments where I'm talking about Scrapyard Dogs. Um, that was in like Conroe, which is like 40 minutes for me. Um, but yeah, she was she was like she made history a lot. She played for LSU. Um, she was one of the first women to get the Golden Glove Award too. So mm -hmm. that's definitely definitely someone I model for sure. Yeah. I would say for me it was more of a baseball player because I grew up like around surrounded by baseball because my brother and my dad um, and I wasn't like into softball like I wasn't right. I didn't watch college softball I was just like eh, like I'm just, I'd like softball I'm just gonna play it um, so I like I was like a big fan of Bryce Harper because he's also a lefty and I just like loved his swing and I just would like always watch him play and I was like yeah this is how I want my swing to be dad yeah so a lefty with yeah. a lot of power yeah just yeah. like that's what you do too yep um, Were there um, other sports in the mix for you guys growing up? Um, I was my freshman year of high school, and then I hurt my arm, and I was like, no way, I'm playing a sport that I don't even like, and I'm going to hurt myself. Yeah. Mm. So I kind of just I quit. How'd you hurt it? Um, I was, like, serving, mm -hmm. and I got, like, stuck on something, and, like, on the net or something. Like, I was, mm. like, I was following through, yeah. and when I jumped up, and I, like, got stuck, and it, like, pulled my arm. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. So that sounds bad. You can put a pin on that right there. Yeah. I loved it. I loved volleyball. Oh, you did? But, oh, yeah. Yeah. I was oh. like, I can't hurt myself. Yeah, playing yeah. This yeah. Sport when it's yeah. just like I'm playing for fun. Yeah. So. What were you? What position were you? I was outside. And I outside. Would rotate. They kind of just move me, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I would play outside mostly. <laughs> so they would lob it up to you. And you would, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So is this like sports? Like all we played, or just like for like in the mix for like what? Oh, it could be, you know, yeah. from, like, Your high school, yeah. middle school. Anything. Okay. Oh, I pretty much played all sports. Um, I played football when I was in fifth grade. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. 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 I like, saw that. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's I have tough. a picture, actually. <laughs> that's tough. Look, I have to, like, send it to you guys. Hey, if you want to no, play I woman's flag football, I'll club yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to club I'm I, like, <laughs> real life, like, dude, this was literally me. Oh, yeah. I was a receiver. <laughs> I was <laughs> literally, the, literally the play that they would always call would be like 28, 28, and I was like the two on the receiver, so I ran the eight hole all the time, and I just ran. Like, I was like, I was such a tomboy. I was such a, I was really like.
<laughs> you have to, you have to disclaim that. Beep, <laughs> beep. <laughs> like I, re- I really like my brother. Like I was such a tomboy. Like I loved being able to like play with boys. Cause like just cause I'm a girl. Like so what? Um, but yeah, I played. Um, I played volleyball, basketball. I did track. I did AAU track. Um, I hated it. I I was I'm fast, but I I hated training for track. I mean, like, I think you really have to be a gremlin for that. Like real life, like you're just running every day. You're sprinting. You're training yourself for endurance. You have to eat a certain. You real life do have to eat a certain way, like hydrate, like all that stuff. Um, and like, uh, but like, no, I did track in high school. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I did. I did it. I was like, I literally track and softball at the same time, and I was like, like, yeah, I'm good at this, but like. Obviously, like I wanted to pursue, like I'd rather do softball. Yeah, but they're in the that's a spring. That's like a spring. spring yeah, yeah, I was like, it was crazy because I literally was bouncing back and forth, like softball track, softball track, and I was just like, and this was literally at the time where I softball wasn't even like, I wasn't even in the 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 softball world of like recruiting. Like I was just in like the comfort phase, but I was still doing like everything. Um, and my dad just really wanted me to do it, so like I literally went to. I did the Junior Olympics. I went to nationals in Florida. Um, after Florida, I like ran the two hundred. I got fourth, and I was like, I'm done. Like I got, I made my name. That's you got fourth at nationals. Yeah, I literally, yeah, I the two hundred was definitely my, the the two hundred was my race. <laughs> yeah, when I was twelve, so I literally that's that. so casual. I yeah, almost missed backpack, it. I was like, yeah. backpack, the nationals. Backpack. Yeah, I literally got like the whole medal. I keep, I kept. <laughs> I kept all the medals and everything like that was really my accomplishment I was like wow like I because I my starts were never good like I always struggle with my starts but I have a lot of top end speed um so literally the tune I literally kept I literally remember the girl that I knew she was gonna get first because like she was just so good like they had these like Jamaican color type of uniforms or whatever I don't know she was cold though and I literally hated being in the heat with her because I'm like you beat me every time and it's like not even just like beating me by like like two yards like she was she was a cool little like second mm. like i think i literally got like a 24 one or like a 25 one she or i think it was like a 25 one and she got like a a 24 and eight mm. and like we were 12 so it was just like it's crazy yeah and then i pr'd in the 400 like 58 seconds but like i just ran that for funds for shits and gigs like That's my dad was just like you're just gonna run it Oh my god! Right. That's yeah. crazy. Wait, what? What age was this again? Sorry, I was twelve. I just had turned. I was eleven, turning twelve. Yeah. You're in a twenty-five at twelve. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Bro, that's, that's crazy. crazy. It's like I. I mean, my genes too, though. Like naturally, my mom was like known as a fast white girl, and my dad, like he was fast, played football, and you know, did NFL a couple years, and so it's like just training. Like either my family, my dad, my dad's side family was always like, "You need to run track." It's an individual sport. You don't have to rely on anybody. It's just you. Like, no. Like, it's just me. That's the problem. Like, that is the problem. It's just me. Like, no. No, thank you. That's crazy. So you said you were 12 when you won the national, or rather, fourth in mm-hmm. national. When did you start going to showcases and playing club ball for real? Uh, when I was 14, I finally switched. Like, this is when I was like, all right, like, you got to get out of comfort zone. You're never going to get recruited in this world. Like, I got out of my comfort zone, um, and I went to tryouts, and literally that was, like, kind of when everything, like, took off because, like, they wanted me to go on this national team, and they were like, no, she, like, needs to get a custom. I was also switching from the right to the left side, so it was a lot of going on, like, in my 14, um, literally when I just transferred my first year, like, not transferred, but switched from, like, the little league stuff to that. Then the first fall I played on a regional team Then in the summer This girl broke her thumb And then I played on like a The level bef- below nationals For this bomber team And then the next year I played for a bomber team And then that's when I switched To like my hitting coaches And then it kind of took off from there What about you Amina? Like when did you When did you start taking softball Like real serious? I would say not till I was like 10 I think I like I was like th- I started like officially playing softball And mm-hmm. I, pu- I got put on like a little league team And then when I was 12 I got put on like a travel ball team and then I just kind of, like, jumped to, like, three different travel ball teams and then ended up on the Lady Dukes, which was, like, a travel ball team. My head coach now, her husband coached um, our team. So she was always around, and two of her daughters also played on my team. So she was always around, too, because her two daughters played. Um, and then that's when I, like, switched my rec- commitment from UCF to Duke. 
Oh yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah, because um, how old were you when you committed to UCF? I was in eighth grade. You were in eighth grade. Yeah. Wow, and you stayed committed for a really long time. Right? I stayed committed yeah. all the way till my sophomore year of high school. Well, it's actually sorry. Year of high school. It's so crazy, like like hearing her say that because literally, whenever I went to the tryouts for like the when I was like I had to switch or whatever, there was like oh you commit, LSU commit, Louisiana commit, and I'm like A and M commit. I'm like, what? Like that was so abnormal to me. Like that just kind of like shows like the the worlds. Like there's literally two different worlds of softball. So like just seeing like like always hearing about that stuff would be like that's in, that's ridiculous. Like that's crazy. Most of the girls, most of the girls end up not even making it. Yeah, because you kind of you're so young. You mm -hmm. you there's yeah. so many other factors. Where you stay that constant. Happen. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This, like this is like two different worlds of sports. We had um so we had T yeah, we had T that. and Ash on the pod mm -hmm. the episode before this. Yeah. And they were also talking about their recruiting and mm -hmm. like they're getting recruited in middle school by like mm -hmm. P five conferences. Like I, I guess one thing from our pod, like when we've been talking to these athletes that we noticed is like for the woman it starts so early. Like you're in middle school and you're talking about college. Like can we get to high school first? Like, yeah. You know, it's just kinda interesting to, to see how that you know, yeah. Also, the I feel like Matthew, Diana, your story is so similar to T's, mm -hmm. yeah. like with the recruiting process yeah. and everything. And because like Ash had like seventy D one offers, you said. Yeah, I remember. Well, I remember seeing yeah. Ash's mm -hmm. kind of come up. And then T only had Boston <laughs> College. That was her first offer. She really? Said, she said I was just open. She said I was gonna kind of get an offer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that just reminded me of that time, Matthew, last time. But yeah. 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 I actually had like a crazy like recruitment progress because like the when I was on like the national team when I was like fourteen my second year, um this coach like like he like would block like send in group chats but like block me so I wouldn't get like the colleges wow. mm. and like stuff like that so like ended up whenever I left the team um the other girl that also left the team the dad was a coach and she and he ended up telling like it was all these schools and like I missed out on so many opportunities um yeah it was crazy then when I okay. switched everything it was just I, it was like actually like self effed up of him but I was like yeah. you know what like it's whatever like I'm still gonna prosper without you and like I literally left the team I, I don't think he'd ever think I would have thought he would have ever. He would have never thought I would have been the player that I am today because he like never once believed in me. So that's the definition of a hater. Bro. Yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah. Seriously, bro. but it's okay. Blocking it's all right. Opportunity. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Wait, so this was you were talking about the national team. Was this national team for? So this was like a. Um, it was like travel ball, so like kind of like meaning like she was on Lady Deuce, like it was national, like one of the top teams. So like there's an organization, and like this was a top team for me. So it's like in different organizations, there's always a national team, and the nationals oh. is always like the best team. Like, right. yeah. so they like, like those travel. are the ones that go, like they go travel, like you play the best of best for everybody. Yeah, the Lady Dukes has like I don't even know like 460 yeah. freaking yeah. teams. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, but like some are regionals. Yeah, so, yeah. so ours regional. was also a yeah. national team. Yeah. Like, everywhere. Who are yeah. some of the best players you played against in travel ball? Jordy Ball, I think she like she's at uh, she was at Oklahoma. She just transferred to Nebraska, but um, she was unreal in travel ball. She like we went to the championship game in PGF, which is like a big tournament. The end of your whole season, like in summer, you go to PGF and it's in California. And our team, our national team called the Lady Dukes, ended up being facing her team, which was called the Nebraska Gold. And the only reason they got there was because of her. She's like the best. She was their best pitcher, and she like had like 20 strikeouts like oh my, she was eight? insane mm. yes oh it was God. insane like she she was crazy and she still is good um, mm -hmm. wait wait seven, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no i was just about to say i was like in game she had 20 and she's, seven yeah she's insane so only one, one person, person. <laughs> <laughs> i think we only had i think we only had like two hits i think the whole game we only we didn't score any runs the score was like two to zero. Oh my yeah gosh. it was a wild game um, that wow. is incredible. Yeah, or one to zero. I think they just won on a walk off. One to zero. That hurts. That's why. That, <sighs> that hurts. That's wow. crazy that y'all were in it and she struck out like yeah. twenty people yeah. as well. Yeah. So. She she walked like a few batters too, so that also gives you more like some more leverage to score. Yeah. Yeah. Face, yeah. Face, yeah. Yeah. What about you? <sighs> I'm like starting to think. Like it's kind of crazy because whenever like like I said going into like the job world I'm just thinking like everybody like oh my god y'all are all better than me but like I was very competitive so it was just like whatever uh, I feel like I remember one game whenever I was in Colorado and we played this Athletics Mercado team um, I don't even know her name but the girl had some like she had some nasty movement I mean like her screw was screwing like you can literally see the ball go like rise like like curve like everything was just giving like yeah
Hey, this is like, <laughs> like it was just dancing on I don't know. I literally don't remember, but I literally remember her and I'm just like like wow. Like I think that's I didn't really face anyone like too crazy because i got to a point where i was like like mentally i was just kind of like oh, y'all are all the same but like that's definitely one that's girl true. yeah that i definitely got that one girl i was like oh you was spinning it. like you were spinning it like you're not just throwing heat like you throwing everything like, <laughs> <laughs> like i don't know what you're gonna throw <laughs> so definitely i don't know her name but definitely shorty what's sure. what's the hardest pitch to hit in softball, huh? No, she it, said I don't know her name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, it actually depends on the player you are. For me, it's definitely a drop ball. Mm. Oh my god, I, I, that's my yeah, kryptonite. I'd say drop ball as well. Uh, or probably like or drop ball and change for me. She probably can say the same thing too. Yeah. She, I think you gotten better with change. Yeah. What type of move does a drop ball have? It's like spin. Oh, okay. Literally, oh. let me, drop. let me. Okay, let me ask. What's the spin on it? Is it like, like? Alright, like, I asked two dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's literally just going down. Like uh-huh. and like depending on the, the like the pitcher, like they can have they're like if you're a veteran, like you know how to like you can have a high drop that goes down, you can have one that starts down, you can have one that has like a curve and down, like mm. yeah, it can have like inches of drop. Yeah, down. like seven inches of a drop. drop. Yeah. Mm. Seven like, like oh like they would consider it like a table, like you dro- yeah. just drop it off a table, like it's just like wow, yeah. crazy. literally just Yeah, literally. Yeah. It's it's insane. I would say that another player that I don't know her name either, but when I played with the Puerto Rican national team, um, we played Japan and it, I I actually don't even know if I saw the ball. The ball was like literally like it looked like somebody was like moving the ball like while she was right. pitching. It was mm. insane. And I just like remember like swinging and being like, what did I like? Where did that ball end up? Like, did I even swing in the right spot? Just, it was insane. They like. In Japan, they get taught, and they're like, that's all they do. Like, that's all they do. They practice. That's like, yeah. yeah. It, yeah that's because yeah. they're on the national team. They want right. to win a gold medal. Yeah. Um, so, like, sh- I just remember playing her, and I was like, I don't even see the ball when I went to bat. I don't even know. I've never felt that way ever. So, do you guys, do you guys look for, because CD, you, you, ba- CD and I played baseball in high school mm-hmm. for pitches, like, to know if if it was an off speed or like a fastball, like you look at the laces of the ball. Do you guys do you guys do that too? Are you looking for the like to try and guess what type of pitch it is? Or are you guys just reacting? I think you're not just guessing. Like, hmm, I wonder what she's gonna throw. No, I'm no, gonna no, say change up. Like yeah. No, yeah, no. I think it's. I think it's. I mean, it's definitely reactive. If you have a pitcher who's like hiding it well, um, you're definitely gonna feel it in like your swing. Sometimes people can like sit it sometimes like it's more reactive sometimes it's just like a defensive like foul it off um i feel like most of the times whenever i get a change up like if i'm not sitting it definitely catches me on guard and i'm whiffing like there's only a couple times like if if it's tailing away from me i'm definitely not touching it we, but we don't like, put that out for the for the podcast yeah so nobody watches that yeah it's okay <laughs> it's okay <laughs> it's okay through adversity, through adversity. <laughs> but yeah for sure yeah i think it's like more of like a timing thing like yeah. if you're you're on time for her fastball and your load mm-hmm. is like on time for that the moment mm-hmm. she'll throw a change up it's like you load and you're like wait why isn't the ball here yet oh shoot mm-hmm. it's a change up like yeah. we don't see laces yeah, yeah. it's more just like, if it throws you off your timing then it's like yeah off speed or change up mm. i think off speed's a little more lethal than a change up sometimes because sometimes it just i feel like sometimes like off speed just throws you off just a little bit to the point where you could be like early and sometimes with a change up but you could like sit maybe like sit it, it. Yeah. you're like oh, yeah that's a change up let me load and yeah. then i can swing but off speed's like load oh oh, oh wait, like I damn swung, swung yeah okay so to th- so for the viewers the load is like when you get ready to hit yeah, like yeah. the pitcher's like in motion yeah. and like you lean back yeah. to get ready to hit yeah. they can't see me but they can <laughs> <laughs> um but um <coughs> what was the second thing uh so off speed so off speed and change up those are like two different those are different pitches yeah. so like for instance like like if Jayla's throwing like our, our pitcher like she mm-hmm. throws like 70 right her change up would be like was practic like in a in a perfect world like 58 mm-hmm. or 55 and off speed would be more like like 61 okay like off speed just throw you off just a little bit a change up is like really to change like changing it up yeah so it's like off speed's a little more smoother change ups are like oh that's okay. a lot different than baseball. I it just is. like I know like you know with a fastball, a breaking ball. You know, yeah, it, it's it is a lot yeah. different. The pitches are not really the same yeah. at all whatsoever. To be honest, it's the motion itself. Cause I mean, yeah, one's uh, this one's like I feel like you can do. I don't know. I feel like you can do a lot more with all, but you can go both ways. I feel like baseball mm-hmm. is pretty like. It's also not a like natural motion. Yeah, like mm-hmm. but I feel like their balls move much more than ours. But it's also smaller, so. Yeah. But yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, you mentioned the national team, right? So. What was your reaction when you first got that call saying that like they want you to play? 
I, when I first started, it was like with the junior team, so yeah. I was playing with like younger girls, but I was still like ooh, the third youngest on the team, so I was still playing with like um, sophomores in college, and I was only in ninth grade in high school, so I was like still with girls way older than me, but um, the like actual national team with like our that can go to the Olympics potentially um, was like so surreal I, like I didn't know I was going to play on the team I was mm -hmm. like ah, whatever like this is cool kind of just like taking it day by day um, and then they called me they kept constantly texting me my phone um, while I was in season last season and they were texting and texting and texting and it was the same coach that coached me um, before mm -hmm. and I was like look I can go I just can't go to El Salvador because it was El Salvador for a week and then no so Clearwater which was like our practice tournament so it was like in Clearwater for a whole week and then it was El Salvador for a week and then it was Spain for two weeks mm. so I was going to be gone for so long right. and I had just got off a crazy season of us yeah. just playing super regionals and going so far Yeah. so I like texted him I was like I can't do like this whole like month and a half I, almost two months I can't do it I was like I'm going to then what, by the time I get back or if I get hurt like it's not it's not worth it um, mm -hmm. when like Duke's paying for my like scholarship yeah. like I'm yeah, not yeah. I can't get hurt Hurt. So um, he was like, I understand, but we really need you for um, Valencia, and which was in um, Spain. He was like, because that's going to help us get the ticket for the World Cup. And I was mm. like, okay, well, yeah, I can do that. So then I ended up going to Spain for two, two weeks. And I like going, I was like, oh, this is going to be so awesome. This is going to be so cool. But then like getting there, I was like, wait, I'm with 31 year olds. Like mm. I'm playing oh, with the wow. national yeah, team. Cool. Yeah. Like these girls are. Are have kids like these girls <laughs> are playing for a yeah. medal these girls are playing to win like five thousand dollars we get this gold medal yeah. like these yeah. girls are playing to win and it like never i never went through my mind like that i was just like oh i'm playing for island like that's it like I'm just playing yeah. for puerto rico and then um my first week in barcelona i had my roommate that i had for like every other time which mm. um her name was tati she goes to iowa right now okay. she's a junior so she's a year older than me I had her for the first week then the second week i got paired up with our first baseman she's 31 she has a one-year-old and i just remember like yeah. laying in the bed next to her and she's like laughing on on her phone and i'm like what the freak is she laughing at and then i'm like okay. i like okay. started <laughs> i started laughing because i was like i want to know what she's laughing at because she's like her like shoulders are like bumping i was like what is she laughing at so she turns to me and she shows me like a gorilla running and i was like that's something my mom would show me. Like, no way. <laughs> no way you're over here like silently laughing at this and it's a gorilla running. Like there's just no way. And I was like, oh, this is, this is wild. This is wild. So it was really interesting playing with like older girls and like so much passion that and no filter. No filter. Like mm. they would swing and miss and be like, like, oh God! Like, right, we would we would probably get sad if we did that for yeah, softball. Nice. Like Coach Young would probably like never talk to us again. Uh, mm. So it was it was so interesting like <laughs> seeing no filter yeah. on them, them arguing with umpires. Like we can't even look at umpire wrong. We'll probably get like ejected. Yeah, yeah, rejected, yeah. Dang. So um, yeah, it was a really interesting experience. That's crazy. Have y'all ever gotten ejected? Oh, no. 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 That's embarrassing. Yeah, I, I, feel, I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, if, if you could eject it, like, you would really have to be running your mouth. Like, you'd have to be on some real sassy stuff. Like, seriously, like, what are you doing? Like, let the, like, if anything, let your coach get ejected, babe. Like, you don't, you don't get ejected. Yeah. Like, Wait, so, sorry. I was just, I think I almost got ejected in high school once. Really? I got What'd you do? It wasn't even, like, that bad. It was just the team we were playing was being, like, horrible. Mm. And like I think I had two. It was O two, and they kept. They were just saying bye, 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 bye. And then like I ended up fouling off two pitches, and then they threw four straight balls. So like they were waving and saying bye. So I waved at them, and then the ump was like, "If you do that again, I'm gonna throw you out." And I was like, "That's soft. Bro. That's <laughs> weak. Never mind." Yeah, uh, <laughs> that was soft. I thought you were like, "Yeah." Oh no, I wasn't listening like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait. So is is. The Puerto Rican national team, is that what you're about to do this summer, or what's, what's the plan? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it this summer, too. Um, depending on how far we go, I might have to, like, um, take it down a notch with them because they mm -hmm. really want me to go a whole month with going places, and I it depends on how far we go or what we do, but yeah. a month is a little long Absurd. to play. 
um, softball. But no matter what, we're going to Italy. That's the one place that I'm for sure going to. Yeah, um, that's fun. That's where the that's the ticket that we got from Spain because we won first place in Spain. Oh, right. So mm -hmm. that ticket brought us to um, Italy, to, Italy. to then qualify for the Olympics. Hopefully, that's cool. Italy. You've traveled so, a lot of places. Oh yeah, that's really cool. I've where's, been so many places. Where's your favorite place? Probably <laughs> Peru. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably Peru because. Yeah, softball wise, yeah, probably Peru. Um, that was like a fun experience, and it was like really, really different. What's your spot? What's your favorite spot that you've been to? Yeah, like traveling, like yeah. out softball, or just like outside. In general. I don't even know, man. I feel like everything I've traveled has to do with softball. So it's just like yeah. you don't. I don't even really get the experience. I think like this is gonna be like so cliche. So forgive me, but like Florida, like just because, yeah. like yeah. I literally like love the. I literally love the beach life like literally just like the water like just like, being able to experience that I mean like Colorado was fun when I went for the first time because like very nature but like I'm not a nature girl I'm very much city girl I mean I'm from Houston so it's like um I feel like LA was definitely overrated mm. Cali is so overrated I hate it there it's expensive there I don't know, like dry no reason yeah. um but yeah I really I don't know like I haven't been like anywhere out out the country for your for real so just definitely I would definitely probably just say Florida very basic. How about the worst state that y'all been to for soft? Uh, Kansas. Oh my Ooh. gosh. I wish that's, you on that one too. So it was actually <laughs> so hot. I haven't. Oh my god, it gets me so tight. I literally drank like fifteen waters that day. Yeah, wow. It was it's pathetic. Summer, it's really so pathetic, and there's nothing to do there. Yeah. You're just there sweating your ass playing softball. Yeah. yeah. I remember it was like one. It was Kansas. horrible. Wait, it was so bad. Y'all were out like there for like Duke. One ten. No, 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 no. It was oh. a travel so, ball. So oh, okay. Like, because you <laughs> put on a different travel ball team yeah. doesn't mean anything. It's still we. It's were the same the tournament. Team, so yeah. It was the biggest tournament oh. in Kansas. That had shit. A big oh my tournament. god, it was so okay. far. Yeah. Never again. Yeah, that was bad. I'm actually going there with like my travel ball coach this summer, like to help like coach. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I, I'm just, I'm glad I'm not on the other side. I'm I'm on that side. So maybe if I want to go, no, I know, also. but like you know, I can chill. Like you know, I'm not gonna be like, <laughs> like eh, you know. <laughs> I'm like y'all, y'all put in, I get in my car. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, Kansas for sure, bad, bad, bad. Just, yeah. That's, really That's a crazy state. I don't know a single person from Kansas. Yeah, who's from, bro? What's in Kansas, bro? Mark Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. Uh, maybe he's going to move or something. Because I, I, I remember. Go back to Kansas. I remember him. They're saying like he's from Kansas. I was like, really? Like, you're that from that boring state? Like, I would have thought he would have been like from, I don't even know. Not Kansas, though. Yeah. Well, he was there. Well, no, he wasn't there for basketball, but he went to a good high school. I feel like he could be, be from Philly or something. Yeah. Type. Like type, 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 type. Um, for sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Never said about a Philly. <laughs> All right. So let's talk walk up songs. All right, Amina. <laughs> we know your walk up song is involved Raw Wave every year, right? Yeah. Shout out Rod, man. He gets a lot of hate. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people don't like him. That's, like, it actually makes me angry. Me too. It makes like, me angry. One of my friends, one, this one Raw Wave song, he said, my house ain't a home because I'm in it alone. My friend Jonas said, yeah, because he's big as <laughs> sh**. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, he's just full of love, bro. He's not big, bro. He's, it's both. Both. <laughs> you can be both. <laughs> both of them. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not a hater, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you big boy. Yeah, what do you think? Whatever SZA said. So <laughs> they don't understand that he's just talking about his life and That's he's what I'm just saying, he's so real. He's, he's so real. Yeah. Like but he be he, talking about love songs but yet be cheating on my girl Daisy. He's so real. He's oh. so real. Yeah, but like <laughs> So is it real? Is it he really real? Yeah, he, yeah. He's, just because he might cheat doesn't mean he doesn't feel the way he probably feels. Yeah. He probably still feels that way. Okay. okay. Let's <laughs> let's another other topic. <laughs> I mean we know you rock with young boy. Yeah. Right? And Drake, Drake yeah. this year. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, Young Boy, Black Balls last year, and then this year is IDGAF. Top three Young Boy slash Drake songs. Oh, that's, that's so hard. Yeah, that's a serious. Question. Oh my god, that's actually so hard, especially Young Boy because like, it just depends on what type of mood I'm in. Yeah. Um, if I had to go, maybe like right now. Um, oh, I don't know. Like like lately, I feel I'm on some old like throwback for young boy has been like no mentions is it no mentions no is it no mentions i really can't remember yeah. song, yeah. I, I don't know if it's i don't know if that's the right one i'm talking about which one? It's like <laughs> if y'all before y'all separate, y'all could talk it out with Shanee for leave. If you feel that, that one song, Matthew, that we uh, is it no mentions? About? We have a couple sets. I, I play it from walking to the gym every day, bro. This you one. 
No, see, uh uh-uh, uh, absolutely no not. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I was like, I don't think I'm right because that that was given. That's a, that's a good one though. Yeah. No, it's it's from that like the the one he's like game. looking. In oh, the astronaut crowd. kid, that's my favorite. He's like looking in the crowd. That's well. That's the same. It's album. like something about roses are red, violets are blue. You don't try. I really liked. Um, side note was Ghost. I liked Ghost. Um, I liked liked level I want to reach. Um, oh, it's this one. Um, no, isn't no deceived emotions. There we go. Mm, yeah. That's what it. Deceived emotions. It's a good one. And for Drake, I would say um, that one with Ch- Chief Keef. No more parties. Is that with Chief Keef or is that with Twenty One Savage? It's on his new album. I've heard that one. It's on the yeah. new one, yeah. Oh. No more parties for sure. Uh, I think it does have. Drake song. Oh, What's your favorite Drake song? Hold on. oh my gosh! Oh. Oh. I mean, that whole album is lit. So. <laughs> mm. Yeah, people hate on it. But it's I don't know why. People hate on it for. I like yeah, passion for all the dope. Honestly, passion that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah. I like that album. I think if I'm turning on any Drake song, <sighs> there's so much. Like, there's so yeah. many, I think, bro. Like, I think, like, like, yeah. Yeah. So I, think I think Pound Cake, to be honest. That's a good that's one. A, that's such a throw. That's so yeah. sixth grade for me. Like, Controller, like, that's, oh, like, so sixth grade for me. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? He died Top right Top Rod Wave song. Top Rod Wave song. That's hard, too. It just depends on what mood you're in, I feel yeah. like. Like, on a sunny day, I'm, 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 I'm blasting that uh, Beautiful Minds album okay. on a sunny day. I like 2019. 2019, yeah, 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 that one's good. Oh, that's top three for sure. I like 2018 right now, actually. 2018. Oh, yeah. oh, seeing that in person was on. Yeah, time. yeah. No, I like abandoned the most in person. Oh, really? Yeah, cause he like he didn't like he like he was like it was vocal. It was like oh, I'm so. No, bad. no, no. Definitely green light in person oh, was insane. It was like green light. Green light. Yeah, yeah, and like all the crazy. lights, I was yeah, like this yeah. is insane. Yeah, that was Unreal. hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pistol love my yeah. <laughs> I like Over My Dead Body by Drake. That's that, my favorite one. It's yeah. on. Who's yeah. the next concert you're trying to go to? Morgan Wallen. If mm. YB could get off of house rest, that would literally like make that'd be a crazy Yo, concert. A young I'd actually concert. lose Going my crazy. mind. Hey, hey for your for your next concert, make sure you use our link in bio with vivid seats right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I, mean, I wanna go to another no cap concert. He's dropping out. Oh, I love so no, cap. no cap. Oh. Is no cap. That's my number one. Ooh. I Grenade. love that man. I, love I wish he was cute, oh. but he's not. So <laughs> like, for my eyes. But still, for my eyes. Do you know that song? For my eyes. Yeah, for my eyes. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was four eyes. Four eyes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, so in four. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I see. I know what you're talking about. I was thinking about yeah, in four. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo, this morning, I got my girl. I got the hotel. That one line. What is it? Uh, tell my mom I'm gonna be rich soon. Uh, like Russell Wilson. You know, I I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, that was so crazy, bro. Is that one? Is it? Is it four? Go for eyes, one on the left, one on the right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like yeah, that. We don't understand no cap sometimes. Yeah, no one really knows who no cap is around here, I feel like. Yeah. But it's okay, I'll stand alone. Yeah. Now, I'll be bumping in a BC Plaza if y'all come outside. <laughs> oh. no BC cap Plaza cap is crazy yeah, work. No How are people looking at you like, who is Speaking of Morgan Wallen, that's sick. have you heard that sample, the one with Rod? Yes, unreal. I'm so I want sick that, that they come out. I, I was so sick that so they come bad. out, yeah. Yeah, that was hard. Who got the toughest walk-up song on the team besides you individually? <laughs> Claire's is fine. Claire's I mean, Claire's is, cool. is like, you can pick like feet a up, be my singerita. I'm Mexico. It's awesome, like, let's go to the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We chill, like, I'm like chilling when I hear it. I'm like, oh, this is like Yeah, I mean, like, uh, what, like Frankie's is like a new level. I'm on the new level. No, so no, like, Jada's is desperado. I, I was in a yeah, I don't know. I feel like uh, our team is like very much like what they like vibe yeah. to, okay. kind of. So it's kind of like, mm. to each its own, almost. I feel like last year's was definitely better. It had more. We had more like, I don't know. I feel like like that would go crazy. You know that the, in the Metro album? Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like that would go crazy <laughs> on the walk-up song. Yeah, but bro just dropped it. I literally yeah. think I was like, damn, this is hard. Yeah. But yeah. Definitely. Just imagine walking up to Dear God, I thank you for All right, that's enough, so Rod yeah. Wave yeah. Yeah. Oh, haters yeah. Never I stand with you so, Matthew, what was your walk-up song in high school? Um, It was Otis By Jay-Z mm. and Kanye mm. That's a good one Especially good. for like Yeah, that's a good one yeah. I like that <laughs> what, what, what was yours? Um, I had two So 
One of them was I had Meek. Um, I had I'm a Boss by Meek, and then I also mm. had A Hundred Shots by Young Dolph. After he died. Yeah, so. Damn. I'd yeah, probably do yeah, green light if I had one. Really? Yeah, that green one. light? Yeah, yeah. Walk it up to that? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to know, like, after your athletic career ends, what do you guys, I know you guys are young. Yeah. You don't have to have a full plan yet, but what do you think you want to lean towards? Do you want to continue with athletics? No. Or, real? Okay. <laughs> she will definitely, I will, I'm not going to speak for her, but I personally think she will. Um, But absolutely not. I want, after my four years, like, I definitely want to live a life. Um, I want to do something in the medical field. Um, I don't really know if I want to, like, continue to pursue that. Like, I know, like, that's where I'm going, but I love babies. I love, like, I love, 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 love babies. So I know that I want to do something, like, um, in, like, maybe, like, in prenatal or, like, a pediatric nurse. Um, just something dealing with kids. Uh, I'm going to, as, like, years go on, I'm going to talk to more people who are in the field and kind of, like, get a generalize um feel or you know what what it is that i need to do because i don't want to go to school much longer but definitely hanging the cleats up after my senior year i definitely want to like just do my own thing softball's been a part of my life for so long like i, I i'm i'm good at the sport but i i'm not in, like in love with that. i don't really just love love softball but that's for me i don't know what i want to <laughs> do i want to stay involved with sports and not like softball wise i mean like i just want to do something in the sports field aspect like even if the like mlb like something like that like mm. working with like the media or something yeah. i just want to get like f- yeah i to get free tickets what do you guys stuff, majors please. My, psychology yeah mine's uh sociology with the concentration in medical okay. and then i'm minoring in psych who should be our next guest on the pod i think you should do like a duo kind of like oh, yeah, Jared and, um, like yeah i think you really could just like get like jaren and emma like they're two little tiktok yeah. stars i don't know i think it'd be interesting like i said i think it'd be good for you guys' platform and whatnot um like they could post it on their stuff and people would literally go do it because they're nosy and just because jared mccain said so yeah i don't know if he's got, you think he'll be here for us this semester <laughs> no he's probably not uh, i think he already old. packed his bag no. <laughs> <laughs> just be like hey, hey, hey bro I, I know you finna leave but like please <laughs> please, <laughs> please. He's in my class my tiktok class. i feel like he hasn't finished school though i feel like he'd be as heavy. Yeah. <laughs> you his brother's still here, so. Oh, I think so. His yeah. brother goes here. Yeah. Yeah, Jace. Yeah, he's, a grad he's in the yeah. grad program. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 He's also in the TikTok class that we have. Oh yeah. Oh, for real. Uh, I know Josh is and Luca, right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no. Exactly. Thanks so much. Oh, Thank you. Is there yeah. anything else I would like to close out? Any statements you'd like to make? Anything you want to say about what Duke softball is gonna do this year? We're gonna do a whole bunch of things. So y'all need to come out. Yep. Yep. All right, on East Campus, y'all be able to find it. We got signs out. <laughs> Search up the schedule. Tune in. Come support, bro. Especially ACC season, postseason, because yeah. we're probably going to host regionals and supers. So. Catch us mm. on TV. Yeah, TV facts. TV. Catch us anywhere. Just, just. It's yeah. chip season. It's yeah, 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 like, yeah. we rank two and stuff. Like, we, we <laughs> actually doing something around here, you know? <laughs> Sounds like. But, yeah. No, appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Thanks. Yeah. We really appreciate you.